Hello everyone, this is the first lecture. In this lecture, I am going to talk about introduction of programming in C. Before we can start to write program in C, it could be interesting to know what really is C, how it came into existence and how does we compare with other programming language. In earlier days, most of the language designed for specific purpose like uh, Fortran, which is designed for scientific and mathematical application, COBOL which is designed for business application. So in that day one, one language was required which could withstand with most of the purpose. In that way, the Dennis Ritchie has taken one step towards C. What is C? Simple. C is a computer programming language. It is developed at at and Bell Laboratories in 1972 by Dennis Ritchie to develop Unix operating system. Yeah, initially it was developed for Unix operating system, but because of its advent feature, the people started to use for application development also. So in that way, the popularity of C programming increased tremendously. Definitely it has number of features, advantages, disadvantages, all those things features, advantages, disadvantages, all those things we will discuss in upcoming videos. Okay, one more thing I would like to answer one question that is the people used to say C is a old language, why should I learn C? I directly learn Python, Java, JavaScript, they used to talk. But, uh, but, but, uh, see, if you are a final year student, you don't have enough time and already you have decided your career, you want to enter in web application, you want to enter in machine learning, you want to enter in IoT, then you can choose as per as requirement. But, but, uh, if you are a beginner, you want to enter in programming world, start with C programming. Why? Because C is the base of all modern programming language. This all modern programming language directly or indirectly derived from C language. So, if you want to enter in programming world, make your solid base. Later, you can start to building your career. Once you become perfect in C programming, then you can easily migrate to C, C++, Python, Java. You can easily learn. Okay, this is all about today's lecture. Tomorrow from onwards, we will start the features of C programming, the all we will discuss in depth regarding the compiler, how compiler will work, all the things we will discuss in one by one. Thank you.